how to analyze how to describe scanning electron microscopy images in a research paper SEM analysis is very crucial technique and every top research paper must include these techniques because SEM give us a lot of information about the surface morphology the roughness the grain size and so many other information so let's get started we have three different samples for example we have perovskite material and we deposit this perovskite material on tin oxide in the next sample we basically change this tin oxide to edta the same perovskite we deposit on edta and in the third case we again change this electrode we deposit the same perovskite on the different electron transport layer let's see what modification what changes can bring this edta to the perovskite surface another important figure is here this figure basically a histogram type figure it display the average grain size of three these three different samples before going into detail let me tell you here this is basically the structure this is basically the perovskite structure here and at one case we deposit this perovskite on tin oxide and the second b samples we just replace this with another etl in the third case we use e sno2 this is the third samples so this is the scenario a perovskite deposition on three different electrodes when we simply deposit perovskite on tin oxide we can see that the grain sizes are smaller we, we can see there are a lot of grains smaller grains and we know that smaller grains basically small grains small grains produce small grains produce do you know what more grain boundaries more grain boundaries which is detrimental for a device because there, 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 there is mechanical instability uh, the, the fracture occurs the, the 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 moisture can enter through these grain boundaries etc but once we deposit this perovskite and this edta so we can see that there is a significant changes occur to the grains so we can see that the grain sizes increases so by default when we increase the grain sizes the grain boundaries will start decreasing right very very interesting if we do not have this sem so how we will know that the grain size increases now let's come to the third case when we replace this edta layer with another simply means when we deposit the same perovskite and this esno2 so there is a drastic change in, in the grain size the grain size increase significantly so we can see that all grains are increasing size so we can see that the grain sizes increases significantly and this can be reflected in this blue diagram here this blue diagram basically shows here on y axis we have the counts mean number of counts this means that in this c sample we have almost this is seven yeah so we have almost seven grains available at almost 800 nanometer so now let's get started how to describe these SEM images in a research paper so we can write this interesting uh, sentence i also put this in the post that quality of the ferroscite film this can be another material in your case so quality of the film such as grain size yeah grain size crystallinity and surface coverage is crucial for high performance device yeah this is very very important if you do not have fully coverage surface so there will be a leakage of current leakage so there will be instability yes so the crystallinity is also related with the grain size if we have large grain sizes this means more crystalline material is more crystalline so the crystallinity in grain size is basically directly proportional this grain size and crystallinity basically directly relation right so this is we need this surface coverage crystallinity in grain size so how we will know from sem so it is clear from these images from figure a to c that continuous pinhole free film with full surface coverage were obtained this means that all three samples are very good this means that all three samples produce pinhole free 
films. This means that there are no pinholes. There are no holes. Yeah, they are, they, all these are goods. But now let's see which one is superior. Figure D shows, ah, uh, yeah, so, so yeah, all three figures shows. But here, we, we can write here, uh, yeah, they, they mentioned here this. Yes, uh, we, we, can, we can also relate this figure D, and before that, we can also write about this figure C, that the, the grain size increases in this B also, and further the grain size increases in C. So, figure D shows the distribution diagram with an average size of this. So, the average size is basically part of the ferroskite coated and asymptotic. This one shows basically 309 millimeter average size. This shows 518, this B, the average size. And the last one is basically around 822 millimeter average size, this one here. Yeah, this can also be confirmed from figure C for this. Yes, so from figure C, we can clearly see the size. From figure B also, but from figure C, the grain size is very, very clear. So you can roughly say that what will be the size? Yes, if you take this one micron, one micron means thousand nanometer. So just take this one and measure this grain. Yeah, this is almost that is yeah, it, it works. So this is how you have to describe SEM images in a research paper. This interesting data I took from this paper. This is the data I took, and it is published in Nature Communication with this title by Dong Yang under the CC 4.0 international lessons and the link to that lessons is given here.